Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Tony 2.0, and welcome back to the foulest of all foul things that you find on Fridays. Foul mouth fucking Friday. This week, I have a very special guest alongside Jeff and myself. It is the man, the myth, the legend, boss, Jedi Zohan. Jedi Sigma. Or is it? It is. I know it is. I just we had to get a fake boss to- Jedi Zohan. <laughs> no one can fake this shit, bro. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you for putting all the questions down in the comment section. Awesome. This week is ridiculously horrific, so I'm kind of excited just to get into it. Um, Jeff, why don't you go ahead and start us off with the first question? Alrighty. And yes, I want to agree that these are exceptional questions. Keep it up, guys. (laughs) Would you rather skydive while on acid or be on a teacup ride for one hour after drinking two bottles of Jack Daniels Tennessee honey? And yes, that was a product placement. Oh my god, dude. Have you ever had Tennessee Tennessee honey? Tennessee honey. It's fucking Mm -hmm. terrible, dude. (laughs) Yeah, that's Oh, it's so bad. It's so sweet and oh my god, dude. I can actually feel the vomit in my throat right now. He's like, I've been hung over many a nights from that shit. So I've I've definitely had one bottle of Jack Daniels in a sitting, and I definitely threw up a lot right afterwards. So and a teacup ride for an hour. That's not yeah. I like there was vomiting multiple times. Like if I'm allowed to throw up in between drinking and the ride, then I'm good. (laughs) Because you know I don't think I think you gotta save it for the ride. Bullshit. That it's not possible. Dude, I, I either way, even if you puke and fucking try to rally and go to the teacups after that, you're still so fucked. I'm, I'll pass out. I'll be, I'll be like the guy that's like, is that guy alive? Like, you know, going, he's been going on that thing for a while. Like, is, he why is he moving, drunk. mommy? Is there vomit on his chin? Like, what is, what is that smell? Dude, I yes, love Jack Daniels, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just try to do two bottles just for the experience. God, that's going to be the worst vomit ever. Oh, my God. I don't it, like it alcohol. Really I'm just doing the acid, personally. I'm just going to skydive while on acid. That's going to at I'm, least be cool. I'd rather stay on solid ground. Yeah, me too, personally. That's just my opinion. Well, I, I don't think you're going to skydive alone. I imagine, like, you know, like the skydive instructors, how they basically do, like, all of the work. Yeah, but it's going to be like a tandem, and they're going to just tandem me and Jedi together, I'm so just... we're both freaking out and yelling at each other. Oh, my yeah. God, that would be crazy. Yeah. If... <laughs> What if, like, both of you guys died, and then just, like, Sim just had to run the crew cast by himself? It would be, be, it'd be <laughs> terrible. It would be the best, most stoned podcast ever. Be like, well, guys, just, like, uh, I'm, I'm Shop Sim, and uh, this is the crew cast. Uh, <laughs> it's so much <laughs> All right, moving on to the next question. This one comes from our buddy Chuck the Gamer. He says, would you rather be put into a Saw-style trap, so, like, the movie Saw, with a random group of people and have to fight for your own survival or be put into the same style trap but be able to pick four of your friends to be stuck in there with you. You're guaranteed to live and but some of your friends will die. Hmm. I like this one. This is a good question. Chuck bringing the heat. Yeah, that's like uh, how fucking evil are you? Um, Jedi, why don't you go first, man? Okay, so I'm definitely going with the randos because I fucking hate greenies, and I'm <laughs> and they can have all the traps they want. If the objective is that I have to survive and they don't, I'm just straight killing bitches. Like, oh, you got it. You set up the survival puzzle. I fuck it. I'll just throw you under the bus, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Jeff, what fuck. are you gonna do, man? Um. Well, I don't think it's as easy as Shadow's making it's it sound obviously, to be. It's, it's like, obviously oh, a just... choice between you're guaranteed to live or you're not guaranteed to live, right? Like, the people I mean, are inconsequential. Yeah. I'll just pick, like, bad friends, like Jeff. Yeah, just pick me and just throw me <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, I mean, I was going to say, like, is it my four closest friends or is it just four, like, acquaintances? Because I have a lot of people, like, you know, if they Let's ask say that they're like, They say they're close yeah. friends. I, I just don't want to die. I, I'm I'm it's <laughs> selfish, but I'm gonna have to kill four of my friends and just hope it's like you know Tony and like great Tony again. 
Just four Tonys. Yeah. And I just have to watch Tony <laughs> die four times. Dude, I think I think you have to go with the randoms here and just fucking beast mode people, right? Just fucking That's shit what I'm on saying. them. That's what I'm saying. When in doubt, go, kill the greenies. Like, it, let's say... Well, if it's a bunch of, like, women that, like, don't work out regularly, maybe I'll, like, try it. <laughs> but, like, otherwise... Like, <laughs> you, so what you're saying is you advocate the murder of defenseless young women. Yeah, I mean, it's easier. To, it it's, not, it's undeniable that it's easier to kill women than it is to kill men. This ah, uh, this show yeah, is but, called Foul Mouth Friday. It's not called Rainbows and Sunshine Friday. But you could have yeah. This isn't have, politically correct Tuesday. <laughs> but, no, but you can have sex with women. So there's that dilemma you of can have like sex with dead bodies, yeah, can't you? I mean, there's a billion. No, but there's like there's like that dilemma. Like, I'm, could I possibly be ruining someone to have good sex with? And then you're like, we're getting way too deep into this. Yeah, this is hey, really. Moving Chuck on is... to the next question. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. All righty. Um, let's get one from uh, Vesper Pizza. Would you rather get fucked by a nine and a half inch dick tranny or get fucked by FPS Kyle? Oh, FPS Kyle, baby. Dude, really? Yeah. I think he's not pretending this, so, to be a this man. Is what I, so this is what I'm thinking, right? Well, if it's a tranny, they've gone through the change, right? So they got tits and they kind of look like a chick. What if it's that like that no, what if Asian it's the other way tranny? No, it's the other way around, dude. It's they a have... nine and a half inch dick tranny. Well, I understand that you're getting fucked by a dude either way, right? Why wouldn't you like be able to like turn around and play with some boobs, even if they are fake? But they don't have boobs, is what we're saying. They got a dick. There's no boobs. In this... No, trannies have boobs. Yeah, dude. What? A, a guy that's changing into a girl. I'm gonna send you some links, buddy. No, it's a girl that changed. <laughs> it's a girl that changed into a guy. It doesn't say that. In my scenario, it's a guy that's turning into a girl. So he's has yeah, oh, yeah, it's job done. It's definitely, guy that's changed into a girl. Yeah. Now that's you know I think I'm gonna go with that just so I can at least while I'm crying cry into his boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cry into the boobs. I'm pretty sure no. I just got the video title. I've uh, I've never I've never had man boob before like this. Dude, but it's not really man boob. They're going They're through the out. change. Yeah, I mean, uh, but then, is... but I don't know. Like, it... I'm gonna Still. send you a sequence of pictures of really hot looking trannies, and you have to pick no. out which ones are guys and which no, ones are girls. No, I'm not playing that game. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, what are you gonna for the rest of the week? I want everyone to tweet the hottest tranny pictures you can to Boss Jedi Zoran. Do not do that. Please, please do, do it. Not no. I found I will... one already. Wings uh, made me a mod on his stream. I will ban you yeah. for life. <laughs> Jeff, what are you going to yeah. go with, dude? Um, I'm just going with the tranny, so at least it's like you not fucking a guy that like, I listen to shit, talk a lot. Because I listened to Pinko already. I don't want to be like listening to the next week episode and be like, that's the guy that fucked me. <laughs> that motherfucker fucked me. <laughs> yeah, right? He fucked me like a bitch. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. This is uh, from a good sub of mine, MinecraftNerds.com. This is a pretty easy one, actually. It says, would you rather have to eat mold or have to puke poop? Is what he put. I'm guessing he's a young guy, so puke shit. Um, So let's say you have to eat, like, a massive handful of mold or just have to fucking have a a wretch fest of of shit. I'm just going to eat mold. Like, at least I'm not puking poop at that point. I'm just eating dirt and, like, mold. Kind of. Yeah, I, exactly. I just I assume mold tastes like dirt. Like, and I yeah, probably. Like, Dude, I would break out the wok and fry that shit up. You know, like it wouldn't be no make joke. <laughs> Put some fucking make sh- cauliflower make mixed edible. in. Get some olive oil in that shit. Dude, make it like it'd be like tofu brick and shit. Yeah, dude, I made, like, some, like, mold pancakes. Like, I'd go oh on to the next level shit. <laughs> nice. That's some crazy shit. All right, Jeff, moving on. Alrighty, this one comes from Dutch Styles One. Would you rather get fucked by a horse every day for the rest of your life, or get locked in a room without internet and listen to Justin Bieber for the rest of your life? Oh, dude! Never what? say never, never. What the fuck kind of question is that? This is what our fucking if I mean it's something in your ass and then the worst possible ultimatum other than that. But yeah. Fuck you, people. Dude, like, every day by a horse for the rest of your life. That, I can't choose. Is it the same horse? 
All right, now, so the question is, can we modify our body in a way that would accept no. a horse? It's, it's the same no, you way you... Like... Dude, after a while, it's going to fit the horse, bro. Yeah, it's just going to stretch eventually. <laughs> oh, God, but it's such a t- tough choice. Like, the only thing that's, like, preventing me from going Bieber is being able to go outside. Dude, I, you know, I think I have to go with Bieber because at some point, my brain is literally going to explode and I'll die. I think that just being fucked by a horse, there, there's less of a chance that you're just going to die from getting fucked by a horse. So, You'd be surprised. I mean, this is how I imagine it. Like After you die, so people are going to be like, so how would you die? Would you rather it be like you listen to Bieber until he just commits suicide or he got fucked by a horse? Well, this is what I'm talking I know about, dude. So, by a horse guy. Let's say you're in this room <laughs> listening to Bieber and you can fucking control the volume. So you just crank it as loud as humanly possible and deafen yourself, right? Yeah, or just put it as low as humanly possible and just have the hollow nothingness. Oh, um, dude, the hollow whisper of baby, 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 oh, baby. Are you kidding? Baby, 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 oh. oh. Don't do that. <laughs> if I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. <laughs> we know I'm way too many beaver songs. I can fucking... love that shit. All right, moving on to the next one. This one comes from oh, Sniff Me there's Harder. There's more? Zero five. He said, <laughs> dude, we got worse ones coming up, bro. He oh my says, God. would you rather have to shove needles into each one of your fingertips? So we're probably talking hypodermic needles. Or <laughs> have a lava lamp shattered in your ass. And he specifies shatter, not break. Yeah, shatter, not break. Are we talking about glass in the anus cavity? Yeah, but isn't the lava lamp... Oh, no, they are still glass. I thought they made them like plastic, but they're glass. That's for sure. Plastic would be worse, though. Yeah, there's Plus, no good answer. Like that. I, I that would de- definitely needles. needles, man. I take needles. I ain't scared. Dude, one needles one. under in your fingertips, bro. That's gonna be it's so one, terrible. Though. But dude, a glass in your asshole. Dude, but it's like a, you get like a quarter inch of skin. Like there, you like go like a quarter inch, boom, bone, done, problem solved. Yeah, I think he, if he would have specified like like a three quarter or a full inch needle in each of your fingertips, this is a harder question. Listen, you might as well just call me Edward Needle Hands, bitch. Bro, show. I'm with you. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Jeff, you get another one. Yep, this one comes from the Hamo 1969. Would you rather have Vesper Pizza's most sick and th- twisted thoughts flood your mind consistently, or get shot in the foot every time you have an ache or pain? <laughs> So then you're just going to have to consistently shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah, so yeah, you're going to be like, oh, like that <laughs> Oh, you're in pain? Have another one. <laughs> Dude, my, my head's already filled with fucking Vesper pizzas. I was going to say, like, I've gotten a pretty it's good nothing taste new. test already. <laughs> the three people that are on this show right now have, I mean, there's the no-brainer. We're already fucking twisted. Yeah, it hurts. Oh, you don't even know this Vesper. shit. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. This one is coming from Bright Guy ninety seven. This is a pretty in depth one right here. Jeff's gonna love this one. Paragraph, I love this shit. Would you rather have to be naked and be in a room full from ceiling, from the floor to the ceiling, to every wall, with spiders, unable to move for all eternity because they'll attack you, or (laughs) would you rather be able to move in the same scenario? And get completely paralyzed by spider ven- venom, invaded by spiders both inside and outside of you through every orifice, and have to wait two weeks <laughs> as the eggs they laid inside of you slowly hatch, then proceed to devour you alive. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Go fuck All yourself. Right. No, I have arachnophobia. So you you're either on purpose. <laughs> you're either Sick. stationary in a room. With spiders crawling all around you, or moving and they attack you, <laughs> paralyze you, and put things inside you. Well, see, here's the question: if the if in the first scenario they attack you, is the outcome the same? They don't attack you in the first one because you can't move. I would literally just kill myself. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, because if it's just like the one of them bites you and it's like a black widow and you die, then obviously the first one. No, but, but that one says it's just for an eternity. You're unable to move. Be, but there was a because it wasn't like because they will paralyzed. attack you if you don't if you do move so you just yeah. for all intents yeah, but, perfect, you're just completely still I, but I could just be you know I'm tired of this shit 
Well, then I, I think that automatically defaults to the second, second part Fuck. of the question. Then this is a this is a fucking circular <laughs> question. I Dude, to answer you look at that. it this way: it's eternity with your worst fear if you're arachnophobic, or two weeks of terribleness, and then you die. I will take the eternity. I'm, dude, I'm going with the two weeks, man. Just let's get it over I, with. No, listen, because I'm gonna start an alliance with the spiders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, yo, listen, I know where to get these really fucking bomb ass insects at, dog. Get you hot as fuck, son. Before you know it, me and the spiders gonna be just like pals, bro. For anyone wondering how Chuck the Gamer and Bright Guy ninety seven brought the questions this week, that's how they should be brought. Yeah, bro. Next level Step shit. your game up, bitches. <laughs> Jeff, what are you gonna do? Because you just gonna you said you're gonna kill yourselves, but that's yeah, not. Yeah, I'm honestly just gonna have a gun by bar. myself. Like, you know that's not an option in this game. <sighs> I'm, I, I'm going to literally just hold my breath until I die because I will just freak <laughs> out. Like there, and there's no way I'd be able to stay still. Like yeah. I've I've explained like how I have to stop like whatever I'm doing anytime there's a spider in the room. Like listen, Jeff. Like, Spiders are some creepy motherfuckers when they crawl I, over your fucking face. Oh yeah, dude. And they fucking look at you with those fucking spider eyes and the fucking hair and shit. I hate you, dude. Shut up. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah All you right, Jeff. You got one to wrap us up. Dude, with why you. is your foot yeah. so itchy? Is there a spider Shut on it? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. This one's from Vesper Pizza. Would you rather um, be randomly fucked by a guy one night a year? Or have to be randomly fucked twice a year by a tra- twice or twice a week. a week by a tranny, by a tranny, and note that the guy once a year is a big black cock, and said <laughs> fuck session will, and the fuck session will last twenty four hours. What? So get fucked by a guy randomly one night a year, so you never know that lasts twenty four hours, or be fucked twice a week by a tranny. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why does everything have to have me being sodomized? I hate this game. <laughs> this isn't a game, bro. This is life. I'm fucking the tranny. No. Just, you know, me and the tranny are going to have a relationship. Again, I can... No, you know, I think you just take the one day out of out of your year where you're just going to get it and hope that it's early in the year so you can recover. It's like jury duty, but with a black cock in your ass. Tranny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like nobody wants it. It's like, sure. but, you, but you still have to get it. I mean, black cock in your ass. Can I put that as the title, or is it gonna get banned? <laughs> I do. Um, no one watches this shit. Channel. Come on now. <laughs> Who's gonna ban this shit? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again for sending your questions in. Please keep them coming. Go and check out Jedi's channel. The link will be down in the description. You guys make this show happen, so keep those questions coming in. Thank you, as always, for all your support. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Peace. Yeah, but you won't see me next week, I guarantee it. You'll see me.